From Southwest Florida, you're watching Fox 4 News at 6. More FEMA trailers are coming to Southwest Florida. All of this after the Lee County Board of Commissioners unanimously approved several FEMA temporary housing sites. Thanks for sticking with us at 630. Everybody, I'm Ryan Kruger and I'm Nadine Giannis. So much relief for residents there. One of the three sites is going to be on Pine Island. The other two in Fort Myers. So let's take you through where these locations were approved today. One, as we said, in Bokelia, uh, the second location in the Harlem Heights neighborhood near Pine Ridge Road and Gladiolus and that third location also in Harlem Heights. Yeah, that's on Journey Road. Now that is a community that Fox 4 has been visiting several times ever since the storm hit. Now today, Fox 4's Brianna Brownlee was in that area in Harlem Heights speaking with residents. And she is sharing their story with us tonight as so many of them are hoping desperately to eventually move in. I am standing in one of those empty lots that was approved by the Lee County Board of Commissioners to become a FEMA trailer site right here in the heart of Harlem Heights. Now, when I was speaking with residents in the area, many of them were asking me what has been taking so long. However, when I was speaking to one 80 year old, she was telling me it's been difficult, but she's patiently waiting. I've been waiting on it, but you know, I'm not the only one that waiting on it. You know, so I have to wait for my turn. An 80 year old Harlem Heights resident Mary's hopes her turn may be coming to get a FEMA trailer nearly five months after her home was destroyed in Hurricane Ian. I couldn't save anything in my house, nothing. Commode, everything destroyed, nothing. Left me with a hole. This is what remains of her home of 61 years. On the outside, still standing, but deemed unlivable. She's now staying with a close friend, patiently waiting for an answer. I'm happy here, but I'm not, you know, I want to go home. The Lee County Board of Commissioners unanimously approving means multiple FEMA temporary housing sites, including here in Harlem Heights, give survivors temporary housing for at least 18 months close to their properties. And it's run like a community. That would be great if it come, but when? FEMA says the average construction time takes anywhere from 60 to 75 days after the contract is awarded. Mary tells me it's been so long and she cried many tears, but when my time come is mine, you know. What God got for me is for me. Now, as Mary waits, I did reach out to FEMA to ask them exactly the date of when do they plan to start construction. In Harlem Heights, Brianna Brownlee, Fox 4.